Hey guys, so today we're going to try printing a dual color print on the GTEC A10M. Um, I've been playing with this profile for some time in Cura, and I figure let's this is a good time as any to go ahead and give it a shot. Um, so I've got set up for dual extrusion. Um, a lot of the settings are a lot of what I, I normally use on, on all the other printers. Uh, except, except this time I've got a setup for under extruder 1 and extruder 2. <laughs> And when it comes to the temperature, I have to make sure I keep everything the same temperature. Otherwise, they end up with problems since it uses one uh, one hot end instead of two hot ends. So I just need to keep that in mind. Okay, so now first thing I want to do is I want to bring in a model. So I found this model on Thingiverse. I'll put a link to it in the video description. And it's a recycling logo. I figure that's going to be the simplest one in the world to try first first time on this thing. So we've got this selected right here. I want to do right click and make sure that's extruder 1. I'm going to take this one and make it extruder 2. Now on the GTEC, I've got extruder 1 as being dark blue AMZ 3D and extruder 2 is going to be a yellow PLA from AMZ 3D. So they should print about the same temperature, which is going to work out good. With one of them selected, I want to hold down on the shift button and select the other model. That makes it where those both light up, which means now I can go down to Merge Models. That puts it all together. I want to center that on the build plate. There we go. And now I need to make sure I've got a Prime Tower. There we go. So right there, that's about going to be about right. Yeah. That close should be pretty good. So now it's just a matter of seeing if this will actually print. Like I said, this isn't the first time I've tried it, but hopefully this will be the time that it actually prints correctly. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and slice this model and put it on the SD card and let's go ahead and print it. So it's going to take 39 minutes. So let's go ahead and print it out and I'll see you at the end of the time lapse. Okay guys, so it took 40 minutes to print. So that's one minute less than what it said on Cura. Print bed's down to 40 degrees Celsius, so let's see if the prints will come off now. Yeah, it's still gonna be pretty tight, but I'll be able to get it off here in just a moment. But as you can see, it actually printed fairly clean. Now it didn't print all the way out to the edge, which uh, that could be a flow issue. I just gotta figure out why it's doing that. So I'll be playing with the with the profile a little bit more. But uh, let's go ahead and let this print cool just a little bit more, and then we'll pull these off and take a closer look at them. Okay, so it's been a little bit, plus I used a little bit of canned air on it. <laughs> that one released just fine. Let's take a closer look at this. See, there's where it's not quite up to the edge all the way, but the colors look pretty clean. The, the yellow looks like it definitely purged enough uh, compared to the blue otherwise we'd have the green which if this comes off there we go you can definitely tell the the difference in the color of the yellow uh, this over here still had a lot of the blue in it so it had that green the yellow and blue makes green just like the Ziploc commercials used to say <laughs> as far as as the what's used for the purge block or, or in this case they just called a prime tower uh, it's really just this ring around it and uh, it seems like it did just fine. There's not a whole lot of material there, so that's a, not a huge waste. But uh, cool little project right there. <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to use that for something. I just don't know what. But anyway, that's my first true two-color print uh, as far as from, from my Cura profile. So I'll be playing with that Cura profile a little bit more, see if uh, I can get a little bit better prints out of it. Definitely want to start uh, figuring out how to print or how to slice my own models. Uh, as far as something I create in, say, Tinkercad, I figure out how to make a two-color model from that. 
uh, you can only download and print so many things from Thingiverse before you get tired of it. So <laughs> I'm definitely looking forward to doing that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Hey, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. When you have a chance, please check out my website, jimmyshawstidbits.com, where you can purchase merchandise through my Public store, as well as check out my Amazon affiliate link as well. Every little bit you purchase that way helps the channel tremendously, and I thank you for it very much. Also, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe, please click on the link over here. And if you'd like to support the channel, please click on my Patreon link over here. Also, if you'd like to watch one of my other videos, please give these a shot. I think you're going to like them. Oh, yeah, you're going to like them, especially that one over there. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.